creativity has always been a driving force in my life. Yes, such a driving force that sometimes it's almost a bit much. I feel like I am driven to create. And here I am rubbing my hands on my thighs <laughs> in a true stimming fashion, just at the thought of how rugged my creative life has sometimes been. And I wonder how much this relates to other creative people, whether you feel driven to create, because I do. And I find that if I don't spend time creating every day, I get quite unhappy. <laughs> yes, very unhappy, very um, almost bewildered. You know, it's like I need the peace and quiet of the creative process and I just somehow or other need to be interpreting my world that way. It's like I was built for it. So yeah, but I've had a few problems with creativity because I started off as a painter and that was great. But um, I always had this thing, it was like I had so many different ideas masses and masses of different ideas and I would find that you know I'd draw something up and I'd get started on painting it and then I'd have all these other ideas and it was like oh okay well I actually like that idea better so we'll scrap this one and we'll start again mm -hmm. <laughs> sounds a bit like ADHD doesn't it yeah anyway um, but mostly I would say to myself no 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 you have to finish this right so I would finish it but at the same time I'd have all these other ideas flitting around in my brain and I'm going Maybe they were better ideas, you know, and I wouldn't necessarily be thinking it, but I would just kind of have a sense like, oh, well, I don't know if this was the best one to do, you know, and I'd try and do them all. And, you know, anyway, um, <laughs> I possibly could have developed my art more had I had the right kind of um, support, encouragement, tuition. I had very poor tuition. The time that I could manage to get some tuition because I, I couldn't do it at high school because there was no art teacher at the time in my little country town in New Zealand. So um, and then when, when I got to higher education and I was training to be a teacher I got to do some art there and the, the art lecturer was just, this is the late 60s early 70s and the art lecturer was just totally into um, uh, op art you know straight lines and, uh, boxes and we all had to learn how to do these straight lines using um, masking tape and everything and my stuff was sort of like swirls of light and lots of color and faces and sort of more like a primitive kind of style and he hated what I did he just hated it you know and and it was like you know and I'm just kind of well, well this is this is you know so anyway I never went into art and I mean I could not have handled the art world for a start all that networking you have to do and knowing people and knowing you know dropping names and that kind of thing it's not me <laughs> I realize now that that's my autism you know it's like those sort of networking kind of requirements for a job are really really scary really scary so I don't want to go into anything like that so anyway later on uh, I got into mask making and then decorating hats um, and, and that was sort of my outlet for creativity over the years it spent mask making was a, a big a big chunk of time for me and then I discovered the AI art generators just this year and for me it was like oh wow now I have I can just produce so many ideas it's like ideas 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 well that's what the art generators do they can just spit out lots of different ideas really quickly and so it suits me really really well um but i'm still you know really driven to do it and so uh if you have a look at psychomagination i set the site up in july 